What's going on guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And guys, in this video, we're going to be highlighting an Expo versus Royal Giant matchup. And this is also my first ever 1v1 video with a subscriber. In this match, as you can see, I'm playing against Evan, aka Fate Gaming, and he's been a subscriber for a long time and been a good supporter of the channel, so I decided to do my first ever 1v1 subscriber battle against him and here we are as you can see guys i'm using a royal giant deck and evan here chose to use an expo deck this first matchup we just happened to choose whatever we chose um he asked what deck he should use and i said whatever you want and he chose this expo deck i believe it's 3.0 expo it could also be 2.9 though i'm not 100 percent sure because he does have the knight instead of the ice golem so i think that does make it 3.0 but anyways guys let's get straight into the battle here as you can see already a minute has passed and neither of us have really done much so far and at this point he went with the defensive expo um right there I honestly don't know if it's a good play or not to really go in for a defensive expo during single elixir, but as you can see, I took advantage of the newly buffed Royal Ghost to get straight to that expo and take most of it out. And then I just ended up going for a fisherman here to block that um, ice spirit on the left. And let's see guys, we're at 123, so getting pretty close to double elixir here and we'll see what ends up happening. But honestly, expo versus Royal Giant is a very tough matchup for the expo player because as you can see here evan just went in for his first offensive expo of the game and all i have to do is just place an rg and pretty much do that if he commits more elixir i can place things besides the rg like he went with the knight and the skeletons so here i go with the tesla on defense and all i'm trying to do is cycle back to my rg the only hope of the Expo player to win the game is pretty much to outcycle the RG and get an Expo lock when I didn't have an RG. But as you can see, he hasn't been able to do that so far and here another uh, defensive Expo. So I just decided to cycle my arrows on that and looks like I cycled a snowball too and the Fisherman's gonna be able to take it out. For Expo players, the key is to keep your defensive Expos alive and so Anytime I'm able to just cycle my spells on the expo, uh, like the arrows and such like that. Let's see if I do it again. Yeah, there we go. The arrows on the expo. Fisherman doing some damage too. And it looks like I decided to snowball it as well with the royal ghost basically taking it out. But yeah, expo versus RG is definitely a long grind. It is not going to ever be a quick game um, unless one of the players is like really bad and the other one's really good. As you can see, the RG here taking out this Expo once again, and I've been able to do a little bit of damage down to 1709 on the right side, but that's mostly due to Spell Cycle. I haven't really gotten uh, much of an RG connection yet, but here we go with the Royal Ghost, and the Royal Ghost actually took out the Archers right away. So I finally decided to go in for an offensive RG, and I hadn't really done that yet, but with that Tesla down, he's going to pretty much be able to stop that. At least I think so. Yeah, arrows came down on the archers, but it was a little bit too late for that. And then we have him at 1493 on the right side, and he goes in for another offensive expo, but I'm back to the RG. And again, pretty much any hope of the expo player winning this game would be would have to be an expo lock in single elixir because once it's double elixir, I can cycle my cards too quickly and just get back to too many RGs. As you can see, I go in for an RG push here on the right, and then I'm just cycling as many units as I can as the RG takes out that Expo. And this is really the push that opened up the game here at the end. I stacked up two Fishermen, two Royal Giants, a Hunter with an RG, and it was finally good game. I broke through against Evan, but don't worry, Evan. RG is probably the toughest matchup you can ask for against Expo, so I don't really blame him for losing that one. But anyways, guys, that was it for the Expo versus Royal Giant matchup. Um, let's hop into our second game here against Evan, the 1v1 subscriber battle. And in this second battle, I was using a new log bait deck that I've been experimenting with a little bit. It's log bait with the Tesla and the Goblin Hut. So you have a lot of defense, a lot of protection against any sort of wind condition they want to use. And we'll see what Evan ends up using here. I'm not going to spoil it, 
but I did play this battle against him a little bit ago. Um, but he does go in for a balloon there at the bridge, so I ha do have my Tesla ready. Again, I have the Tesla and the Goblin Hut to protect against any sort of wind conditions like the balloon. Um, but Mega Minion's gonna come down to help finish off the night, so Goblin Gang to stop that, and then let's see if I opt to cycle the Goblin Hut here or if I go in for a Goblin Barrel, and there's the Goblin Hut first time on the board. So it would be dangerous if he could go in for a balloon on the left side because the Goblin Hut is on the right, but I'll be back to my Tesla pretty soon, so he's probably not going to be able to break through with that. Um, Princess being cycled in the back. Looks like it's going to be classic, or not classic Lava Loon, but some type of Lava Loon uh, because he has Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, and Balloon already that we've seen. So the Spear Goblin is going to slowly but surely chip away at that Baby Dragon, and now the Baby Dragon's finally going to come into range of the tower, so that was good for me. And just like that, I've cycled all the way back around to a Goblin Hut, and that's pretty much what you want to do with any sort of Goblin Hut deck, is just play as many Goblin Huts as you, as you can. And luckily for me, Evan didn't have a poison in this match, or he would have been able to just poison away the Goblin Hut every single time. But as you can see, Tesla and the Goblin Hut are forming a formidable wall there on defense with those Spear Goblins and taking out all these Barbarians. And there still hasn't been that much damage done in this game though. 1890 on Evan's right tower and he's gotten a little bit of damage on both of my sides. But the Goblin Barrel going to do a little bit more damage there because he only has Zap to kill it instead of a log. And a pretty formidable Lava Hound Mega Minion push coming in here on the left. And then he goes in for the Balloon too. But I do get good Fireball value there hitting the Mega Minion and the Balloon. And then the Spear Goblins did a great job killing that Balloon. But guys, now he has two Lava Hounds going straight at my tower. And all I had was a Princess there to block him. So luckily the Princess stays alive for me. Spear Goblins are getting a little more damage on the right side, but his Lava Hound push was able to get quite a bit of damage there, taking me down to 1207, and he will get even a little bit more damage than that. But yeah, right now I have two Goblin Huts down, and this is a pretty crazy matchup, Lava Loon versus Tesla and Goblin Hut. It's easy for me to play some good defense, but also he has some good counters to what I'm trying to do. Um, he can fireball the goblin barrel to completely kill it, even though that's not a good elixir trade. And as you can see though, starting to get a lot of goblins through there on the right. Unfortunately, the knight didn't get a hit, otherwise he'd be pretty low already, but he's sitting at 929, I'm at 1084, this is a pretty close game. Another balloon coming in, and the tesla will be able to stop that along with the spear goblins. But look how many spear goblins are building up guys, all those little stevens. And they are angry, they want to do some damage, but a fireball on the Barbarians is going to leave a couple Spear Goblins alone on the tower. And that's going to be GG. I was able to take the win there against Evan. That game was definitely a lot closer though, so well played that game, Evan. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's battles. If you made it this far in the video, definitely click that like button and the subscribe button right now. Doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first ever subscriber 1v1 video. If you've been a subscriber, make sure you show some support on the channel, and maybe you'll be able to do one of these 1v1 battles one day. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video, and I'll see you in a couple days with another Clash Royale video.